night, Dad. What's going on? Well, as y'all know, I'm dying. And I just want to make sure before I go that I have all of my assets and properties in line for you, you guys. Dad, why do you always say things like that? Just so dramatic. This is my attorney, Lisa. She'll be taking care of things today. Hi. How are you doing? So, Pops, how are we gonna do this? My attorney will explain everything. Well, pretty much the way your dad has it set up is we have all the deeds to his properties right here, as well as all of his savings. You guys can choose to take one or the other, or you can split everything in half. No, no, no. Uh, I'll just take everything to save. Is this cool? Pretty sure bro knows what to do with the land right here. Martin, what if we share everything? You take off the land, I take off the money. No, 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 no. Look, it's okay. I'll take the money. I think you got a pretty good idea of what you want to do with the land anyways. How much you say it was in the savings account? $1.2 million. God, uh, yes, that's enough for me. Yeah, that's enough for me to start my future. Yes. Martin. So what about your brother? Don't you think he should get some of the money? Pops, he don't need none of the money. He got the land. He gonna know what to do with the land. Martin, you can't be so selfish. I keep telling you, man, being selfish will get you left behind. Pops, stop being so dramatic, man. Look, you told us to choose, so we chose. You good with the land, right? Yeah, that's cool. We can do it like that. Okay. So he take the land and I take the money. Nilo, why would you agree with a deal like that? I mean, why would you give up all the money to settle for a boring piece of land? I mean, Martin got plans for the money. Besides, with the land, I can do a lot more things with it. So it's fine. It will be there forever. Well, if you guys have it settled, I guess you can sign these papers. Mind if I do? Um, you show me where to sign, right? Now look, why would you settle for such a deal? I mean, why would you give your brother all the money? Well, Dad, you said we should choose, right? And he chose first, so it's only fair. He can have it. Doesn't that hurt you? I mean, do you think that's a good deal? Dad, I still have the land. I can do something great with it, right? Come on, get your stuff, let's. Hold on, where are we going? We're going to take a look at Nilo's land. Pops, ain't nobody wanna go look at no ugly land. Boy, if you don't come on and get your stuff together so we can go. What's going on, Pops? Why, why are we at a private airport? This is Nalo's land. This, this is mine? This is our mine? Yes, it is. You signed the contract, didn't you? This is 200 acres of land. The private runway over here on this side, we have a mansion over on the other side. Now, I know we don't talk about a mansion often, but it's all yours now. Hold on, Pops. Hold on. I think we should go with the second deal. I think we should just take the money, split it in half, take the land, split it in half, and just make it equal. No, you chose what you chose. You were given plenty of opportunities to share with your brother, but you're just being selfish and greedy. You took all the money to yourself, and you just wanted to have your brother have a born piece of land. But Pops, I didn't know you had all this. Exactly. And that's what you want to do, is leave your brother with some born piece of land? Look, I keep telling you, son, being selfish, they get you nothing behind. That way. It's 200 acres. I'll give him 100 and I'll keep 100. It'll be fine. Trust me. No, this is your land and you will take your land. And your brother, he'll take what he chose. Pops, man, this ain't fair. Why don't you raise your voice at me? You were given the same choice as your brother. And after you made that choice, I asked you to break even with your brother and you chose not to. You ain't never said anything about this place. 
Come on, Ilo. Let's show you around. So this is mine. All these planes are mine. Yes, son. They're all yours. Nilo, this place has been in the family for many, many years. My dad used to collect planes, and I've done the same. You like it? Like it? I love it. <laughs> the moral of the story is, the more you give, the more you receive. The less you give, the less you receive. Always choose to be a giver. Money is temporary. However, wisdom is worth more than precious gold. God created us to be a cheerful giver so that we may receive abundantly. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe so you can always see the new videos when we upload. Vid Chronicle videos are made to inspire people. Like and share this video so others can receive the message. And, and remember, remember to always let love lead the way. way.